Let's now going to check outside with meteorologist Maddie Baggett in with us this on this Saturday. A very cool one out there today. You are right indeed, Crispin. It is chilly out there. And daytime highs, we only made it to the low to mid-30s today. 32 for Johnstown, 32 for Bedford, low 30s for State College and Altoona. Now, during the day, it was overall dry, mostly cloudy, but dry skies. However, scattered showers are moving in. A bit of rain, snow mix to the west of us. However, here locally, we are just looking at a few scattered flurries. Right now, little to no snow accumulation is expected. Temperatures in the low to mid 30s Upper 20s there for State College, 30 for Clearfield and St. Mary's. Now, we are still seeing those lingering flurries. We are going to see more heading into tomorrow morning. We'll talk about that, and it is going to dip down to the mid-20s as we head into overnight hours. We'll talk more about that upcoming snowfall here in just a bit. Six forecast. An absolutely beautiful scene out there in Altoona. Not a bad night to drive through the lights on the lake there. But definitely bundle up on your way to the car because it is chilly out there and it's cloudy. Parts of our area, so we're looking at Indiana, Johnstown, parts of Blair, Bedford, Somerset. A few lingering flurries. But as far as snow accumulation tonight, we're not expecting any. However, tomorrow, some could see a half of an inch, maybe a little bit over an inch, especially if you are in those higher elevations towards Elk and Cameron. Now we will see those showers move in pretty early, late tonight, early tomorrow morning, and then continue throughout, clearing out by mid morning, mid to upper 30s, so pretty close to average today and tomorrow. And then as we head into our Monday, Tuesday, right around average. Wednesday, that's where we are going to get a bit of a bump to the low 40s. We'll stay there for Thursday, but then for your Friday and Saturday, a system is developing. It's going to dip things down to the low 20s, and we may even see some snow in there. Late tonight, early tomorrow, we'll see that snow move into our area. Mostly cloudy skies throughout your Sunday when you're not looking at that snow. Once again, it is going to clear out pretty early. However, tomorrow night, scattered snow showers, temperatures a little bit warmer there, changing that snow to that rain snow mix across the eastern Alleghenies. So definitely allow for some extra travel time. We know that sleet and freezing rain can make those conditions very slick on the road there. And for your Monday, a little bit warmer, upper 30s, a low 40s. So not too, too bad at all. Sunday, expecting those snow showers. Monday afternoon, some snow in there as well. Rain snow mix for Tuesday, Wednesday, overall dry skies, and we could see some rain showers for your Thursday. Across the northern Alleghenies tomorrow, mid to upper 30s, 37 there for St. Mary's, 35 for Dubois, and Clearfield across the Laurel Highlands, mid to upper 30s there as well. Indiana, a little bit warmer at 37, 38 for Breezewood, 42 for State College. Now by Tuesday, mid 30s, partly cloudy for Wednesday low 40s there and you can see as we head into your Christmas day way way down dipping to the low 20s below average and we'll stay there for your Saturday as well as a few flurries move in temperatures in the upper 20s of a white Christmas on Friday it yes like. it looks like if that system starts to develop even further we could get some more snow All right. but I don't think the snow that's on the ground is gonna go no anywhere. I think that's gonna be here for <laughs> yeah, a while thank you sure. Maddie thank you friends for joining us tonight the news is next we'll see you tonight at 11. We're going to track out some more incoming snow tonight at 11. More. A few snow showers, but we will be warming up a bit by midweek. More details tonight. Well, Maddie, since we had that snow, it's remained pretty cold out there, and uh, I don't think any of the snow has been melting, at least not on my driveway. No, not at all. It is very chilly out there. Upper 20s, low 30s, that's where we started off this afternoon, and we made it to the low 30s. State College, 31 for Altoona, 32 for Bedford. We're going to see even more snow late tonight into early tomorrow morning, starting off with that cloud cover tonight. Now, just some lingering flurries moving through our area for parts of Cambria. We're talking Jefferson, Somerset, Indiana there as well. Some could see up to an inch, maybe an inch and a half in those higher elevations across the Laurel Highlands and northern Alleghenies. However, that snow is going to quickly move out of our area. We're going to be left behind with mostly cloudy skies and some are even going to see rain snow mix mid-afternoon. Temperatures currently in the low to mid 30s. Now we'll talk about when we're going to make it to the low 40s here soon. Safe weather. 
That rain snow mix is already starting to move into our region. Mostly cloudy skies out there. Now, we are looking at primarily snowfall across our region for parts of Cabrillo, Somerset, Blair, Bedford, and Indiana there as well. Just some little flurries. Now, overnight, not that much snow accumulation. However, after it's all said and done by tomorrow morning, some could see around an inch, maybe an inch and a half in those higher elevations. Now, visibility, despite that cloud cover, despite that snowfall, we are still 10 miles out. Those flurries are going to continue throughout mid-morning. Once again, light accumulation. We're not looking at anything major. No major winter storm like what we saw on Wednesday, that's for sure. We're going to be right around average for the beginning of your week and then dipping below as we head into your Christmas day. It is going to be a very chilly one. However, overall, pretty close to average. We gained a little bit from this time yesterday. We gained 12 there for Dubois, 11 for Clearfield, 7 for State College, 7 for Johnstown as well. However, close to home, it is pretty chilly. Pittsburgh looking at 34, even cooler towards Williamsport at 20. D.C. at 34 there as well, 37 for Charleston. A slightly above average today, and that's where we're going to be as we head into a new week. Here's where we made it to yesterday. It was cold, upper 20s, low 30s there, and it was a little bit warmer today. Now that system is going to move in, it's just a relatively weak storm system, dumping a little bit of snow. Once again, higher elevations could see up to a inch and a half. That's going to clear out really early, and then rain snow mix as we head into late afternoon, early evening with a couple flurries. Now, Monday afternoon, early evening, that's where we are going to see some more scattered snow showers. But once again, we're not looking at a lot of accumulation with that. Tuesday, those flurries will linger. Wednesday, look at that. We're going to be well above average. Chance to maybe get outside. Low 40s, low 40s for your Thursday. Rain moves on in. And that will change into snow for your Christmas day. Temps in the mid Christmas day, it's going to be very chilly with some scattered snow showers. Temps in the mid-20s. Certainly chilly. All right. That'll do it for us here on Fox 8 News at 10. Take care. Moving the weather now. Meteorologist Maddie Baggett. Maddie, it's not even officially winter. I got to say, I'm already tired of it. <laughs> I hear you, Al, Chris, but we have two more days. Monday is the winter solstice, first day of winter. Mostly cloudy skies out there. We are looking at some light to moderate snow showers for parts of Somerset. We're looking at Cambria, Bedford, Altoona there, parts of Blair there as well, and Indiana. We're going to actually see those scattered snow showers throughout your evening. Accumulation, some could see around an inch, and then those higher elevations, maybe a little bit over an inch, possibly, too. Low 30s for Johnstown, 30 for Altoona, 31 for Huntington there as well. We're only going to dip down to the upper 20s overnight, so not too, too bad from where we stand right now. And those scattered snow showers will continue throughout the evening, clearing out fairly early as we head into your Sunday mid-morning. We're going to talk more about that snow and have a look at your Christmas week here in just a bit. Your weather team six forecast. A very pretty but chilly evening there for Somerset. We're looking at some scattered cloud cover, and we're also looking at some scattered snow showers moving through parts of Somerset there. Bedford, we're looking at parts of Blair and Johnstown there as well. Indiana, light to moderate pockets. Some are going to see some stronger pockets of snowfall throughout the evening. Now, as far as total snow accumulation, most are going to see under an inch. However, higher elevations across the Laurel Highlands and northern Alleghenies could see a slightly over that, maybe an inch and a half, possibly two above 2,500 feet. Now those rain and snow showers are going to continue throughout your Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It's going to be a bit unsettled towards the beginning of the week. However, things will become more mild towards Wednesday, and then rain moves in Thursday, changes to snow Friday, and it is going to be very cold for Christmas Day. Most will see temperatures in the mid to upper 20s, so quite the change up over the next couple of days. Got a lot going on. That Snow is going to continue late tonight into early tomorrow morning. Light, moderate, and strong pockets of snowfall throughout the morning. That's going to end pretty early as far as that snow. We're talking late morning, early afternoon. However, you could see some rain snow mix throughout the day, and that's what we're expecting for your Monday, Tuesday, and then drying out briefly for your Wednesday. Now, this is Monday night. That rain snow mix for parts of Bedford, Huntington, and then we are going to see some snow showers. 
showers for everyone else. So it's going to be a little bit all over the place, drying out by midweek, but then picking up some more rain for your Thursday. Across the northern Alleghenies tomorrow, mid to upper 30s. 36 there for St. Mary's, 36 for Punxsutawney as well. Laurel Highlands, 35 for Johnstown, Evansburg, 37 for Somerset and Indiana. And a bit warmer across the eastern Alleghenies. Most are going to touch the upper 30s, some scraping the low 40s. Now by Wednesday, that's where we are going to bump up to the low 40s. Very nice chance for some rain, snow mix Thursday into Friday. And then look at that daytime high for Friday, Saturday. Temperatures are going to be well below average. It's going to be a chilly, chilly Christmas. Temperatures in the mid to upper 20s. Over an inch of accumulation, but that's in the higher elevations there. And then we are going to make it to the mid to upper 30s for Monday, Tuesday. A lot of snow in our neck 40s. of the woods for sure these yep. past couple days. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you, friends. Saturday Night Live is next. We'll see you tomorrow. It was a chilly one out there today. Now, we started off in the upper teens, low 20s. We made it to the low 30s. Bedford saw 32, so did Johnstown and Somerset 30 for State College. Now, currently, mostly cloudy skies. However, parts of Jefferson, Cambria, Somerset, Indiana, you are looking at some light snowfall. Nothing major, just little to no snow accumulation tonight. Now, tomorrow, you may some snow. You may see some snow left on the ground after we do see those snow showers pass. Currently, we are looking at temperatures in the upper 20s for Clearfield, Bedford, 30 there for Dubois. Over the next couple of hours, we're going to see those snow showers roll on in, and some could see some heavier pockets there. We'll talk more about that. I'll have snowfall totals, and we'll talk about Christmas here shortly. It's a cloudy one out there this evening. Now, some are already seeing some light snowfall. We're looking at parts of Cambria, Somerset, Indiana, Jefferson. Just some light pockets of snow. Nothing major. Just little to no snow accumulation is expected. However, more snow is going to roll on in late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Some may see up to an inch, even a little bit more in the higher elevations. But that is going to clear out relatively early throughout your day. Mostly cloudy tomorrow. A little bit warmer, mid to upper 30s. And then by mid next week, we are going to make it to the low 40s before dipping way, way down for Christmas Day. We're only going to make it to the 20s. It is going to be a chilly holiday. Now, we did gain a good amount from this time yesterday. We gained 12 there for Clear Photo Lemp for Dubois, 4 for State College, 2 for Bedford, 5 for Johnstown. It's chilly across the board. Not too bad for parts of um, Louisville and parts of Nashville, though. 44, 34 for D.C., 38 for Charleston, closer to home. 33 for Pittsburgh. However, very chilly further to the northeast there. Williamsport sitting in the low 20s. Now, slightly above average today, and that's pretty close to where we're going to be for your Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday as well. Yesterday only made it to the upper 20s. Clearfall to 27. Same for Johnstown, 28 for Somerset, and Dubois, 27 for State College. Mostly cloudy currently. Now, late tonight, early tomorrow morning, we are going to start to see those snow showers. Now, we're looking at the potential for light, moderate to heavy pockets of snow throughout your early morning. Most, once again, higher elevations you could see about an inch, an inch and a half, so not too, too much, but just a good coating there. And then for Sunday night, some more snowfall with the chance for actually that rain snow mix. You may see that into the afternoon there as well because the temperatures are going to get a little bit warmer. Now, overall dry to start off Monday. However, more snow is going to move and we cannot escape that snow. Good news is we are going to get some relief by Wednesday. It's going to be a little bit warmer there. Partly cloudy skies. Chance for rain snow mix heading into your Christmas day. So New Year's Eve, not too bad at all. We'll make it to the low 40s. However, Friday, there's a system developing Thursday night into Friday. That's going to bring things down way, way down to the mid to upper 20s. And for your Saturday, we'll be right around there as well as most are only going to reach daytime highs in the upper 20s.